Hello, viewers. This is your Michael from Three Reviews, bringing you a new podcast from my segment called The Secret Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. So anyway, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this, watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, let's get to the latest episode of We Were Soldier, episode 5. So basically, the episode starts off, we see, oh, we see the We Were Soldiers at, at We Father's uh, at Weed's father's lab, except for Tao. So basically, oh, you know, you know, the we see the Weed service except for Tao at Weed's father's laboratory. So basically, you know, Bam was using a special Weed so to help to help we to help we remember how how uh, how how that mighty soul monster got. Uh, I mean, you know, how that Microsoft monster, you know, got created because the researchers didn't, don't know that, you know, don't know how the, how, you know, how the Dreadnought forces are making these Microsoft monsters from people. So basically, they use a special research to help we remember how that Microsoft monster got created from her negative emotions, from, from, from her negative emotions. So anyway, so basically, so basically, they, so basically, they activate the, activated the animal so and we start to remember how 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 how, the, how that mind so monster got created from her negative emotions from her body. So anyway, it turns out it turns out it turns out she remembered that Creo that that Creo the uh, Creo who was the uh, who is the who who is one of the generals of the dreadnoughts used used a special liquor that that he, he that he shoots for you know that he. That he that he shoots into people's mouths, that therefore making 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 minor soul monsters from people's bodies based on their negative emotions. So basically, after 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 we after we uh, after we tell them what you remember, how the minor soul monster her minor soul monster was was made, you know, Cohen others say that you know it's restore Creo, restore Creon. We I mean, I call Creon. Creo, Creo, like he, I believe he's a he. So anyway, I believe that Creo was a he. So anyway, Creo, so basically after getting that information from Weed's memory, there was like, you know, all we got to do is fight Creo on and destroy him, therefore, therefore, we don't have to worry about any Minosaur monsters. So basically, so basically, Cole and others spread out to, to, spread out to the city to find Creo and, and, and destroy him. So anyway, meanwhile, in some park somewhere, we see Tao, we see Tao hanging out with a friend, they, hanging out with a friend named Sadie. Sadie was, so basically, you know, Sadie was, Sadie was, she had this little puppy who, who she's been trying to, who she's been trying to find a home for. So basically, you know, Tao was like, you know, was kind of helping her kind of helping her out to, you know, to find that little puppy at home and whatnot. So anyway, Bad, Bad happened to be in the area and saw, and saw, and saw a towel talking to, talking to, uh, talking to his friend Sadie. So basically, you know, Bad, uh, Bad just, you know, so basically Dad told Tao that, you know, we, we need your help. So basically, so basically Tao had to leave his friend the order to find, you know, order to find Chris on and destroy him, therefore, the, therefore, therefore, the Gemini's room had, won't be able to make any more mind soul monsters without the whole uh, Creon. So basically, so basically, they found Creon trying to, trying to, you know, trying to, try, try to make mind soul monsters from people who was running away from him. So basically, you know, so basically, so basically, you know, Bam and Tao was in the area, they saw Creon, you know, she, you know, trying to, trying to get the people to, you know, trying to make mindful monsters from the people, but they was running away from Creon. So basically, Tao was, 
I mean, stop making time if I can know, oh, I'll call the others, but bad is like, no, we can handle this ourselves. So basically, bad, they're more thought and, and it starts to, and start to beat the, it starts to beat the, the, start to beat the shit out of Creon, and, but Tao is like, you know what, the Tao is like, you know, I'm gonna call the others anyway. So basically, Tao called the others, then he more up, and they start to beat the crap out of Creon, but Creon, but Creon had some foot charges and ten charges showed up and start, you know, was saved. So basically, Creon was saved by some foot charges and ten charges. So basically, you know, ten charges was so basically, you know, basically, you know, you know, Creon was saved by some foot charges and some, and by ten charges. So basically, you know, Bam and Bam and Tao took down the foot charges, but ten charges, when ten charges showed up, he, he started to beat the shit out of, uh, out of Bam and Tao. So basically, Things were not looking good for the uh, for Bam and Tao, and that's when the others showed up. Sure, showed up and showed up, and they got the upper hand against Tencha. While while Creon was from the Cylon. so basically, so basically, we're all five real just working together as a team. You know, they were uh, they had the upper hand against Tencha, but at at that moment, a earthquake. At that moment, that's when an earthquake starts to, start to happen, and that's when Tensha absorbs the power, absorbs the energy of the earthquake, and transform into a super mode. So basically, when the earthquake started, you know Tensha, you know, drained the energy from the earthquake to transform into a into a super mode, and basically he had, you know, and he had the upper hand against the real soldier. So basically. So so basically, like you know, and force, and you know, he let in and, and force them to be more. So basically, you know, Carl. And Cole was like, you know, Cole was like, you know, uh, like, you know, we, I won't let you beat, uh, beat us. So basically, that's what Tank Shot said, like, you know, I'm going to kill you just like I killed the master. And that's when, that's when Cole got real pissed off, got up more, more back into his, into his way before and started, and started to go nuts on Tank Shot, even though, even though Cole was angry and was, was doing some damage to, was doing some damage to take out, but he was just too angry to really come up, you know, he was just too angry to realize that, you know, you know, he should have a level head, you know, he could have done more damage if he was calm and whatnot, so basically, even though Cole was doing some damage to take out in the super form, but, you know, you know, Cole was just way too reckless, you know, and that's when take out had the upper hand against Cole, and that's when, you know, and that's when Bam, and uh, that's when Bam and Tao got, got back up and they start to morph, they start to morph up and that's when Creo, oh, that's when Creo said, oh, oh, oh then now it's the perfect time, attack. So basically, out of nowhere, once Creo said attack, when Creo said attack, this monster monster that looks like a giant dog came out of the bushes and bit, and, and bit Tao before he, before he morphed. So basically, so basically Tao got bit by this dinosaur monster that Creon had, had hiding in the bushes to ambush, to ambush them. So basically, Tensha was like, wait a minute, you had a dinosaur monster this whole time? So basically, Creon said, let I'll explain later, I'll explain later once we get away from these real soldiers. So basically, you know, so basically, Tensha and Creon took the opportunity to, to leave them. Yeah. And and to to leave and to, you know to leave and you know and to took time to to leave and leave for now you know, let the wheel tell to you know and so they take out and Creon decide to leave you know and leave for now and let the wheel tell to you know put, you know you know and let the wheel tell to recover and shit like that so anyway. So anyway, so anyway, it turned out that the dinosaur monster is turned the dinosaur monster was was created. So basically, Creon, so, so basically, we see Creon destroying his Tenshaw. Tenshaw was mad that you know you had that dinosaur monster this whole time. Why? Why? Why did he use it? Use the reason why the reason were attacking you? So basically, 
who have to say that Microsoft must have a special ability to beat it? That Microsoft must, who, whoever that Microsoft must have beaten, get poisoned. So basically, get, get a special ability. So basically, who have to say that Microsoft must have a special ability? So basically, whoever it, it bites, you know, gets poisoned. So basically, so basically, shit is bit, 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 so green, he, he ain't gonna be around much longer. So basically, the Microsoft must have had the specificity. If it bites a person, you know, the poison was spread to that person's body, therefore ended up killing that person. So basically, that's why the reason why Creon didn't, you know, they used the Microsoft monster, you know, before, uh, before, before, you know, when he was getting attacked by the real services. So basically, he, it was the, part of Creon's master plan to have the Microsoft monster to bite one of the real services. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, it would be much more easier to take down the other real services. Anyway, anyway, turns out the Microsoft monster that Creon created came. It came from it came from it came from Tao's friend Sadie. So the, the, so it turned out that Kriya made the Microsoft monster from Tao's friend Sadie. So basically, they went back to the park and saw Sadie be saw Sadie with the dog be her energy being drained from from the Microsoft monster. So anyway, they took so basically they took Sadie they took Sadie and Tao back. Back to Wee's father's lab, where, where the poison started to kick in on Tao before he gave his speech uh, to his brother Bam. So basically, Bam was about to kill, was about to kill Sandy with a sword, and that's when, and that's when Tao was like, "No, no, no, no! Sandy's my friend, just like Cohen are of my friend. So basically, me, we should be working together as a team. Therefore, and take down that mother so much that therefore nobody will have to die. So basically, after after Tao gave his speech about to his brother Bam, that you know that. Sadie's my friend, you know, and Cole is my friend also, so basically, you know, we should be working together as a team to take down the Dreadnoughts and, and and take down that monster monster and help, and to help save Sadie. So basically, and that's when the poison started to kick in and Tao passed out. So basically... So basically, you know, so basically, so basically, you know, Bear decides to go look to the monster, and Cole to start, and Cole to tag along. So basically, Bear used a special, used the busy wheel search to find the monster, and he called the others, he called the others to help, to go look at, you know, to, to stop and to find the Microsoft monster. So basically, so basically at that moment, we see Tenja use his his new powers to make himself grow, and Cole, it's a Cole, Arthur, and Mel who summon the Zord to deal to deal with the super size giant giant Tenja while while Ben went to go take down the Microsoft monster. So basically, the Microsoft monster and Creo was at the water plant. So basically. Creon's plan was to was to use the poison from the Microsoft monster to fight the to spike the water, therefore therefore killing everybody in the city through, through the water supply. But lucky but, but lucky Dan stopped Creon's plan and destroyed the Microsoft monster and and, and basically, it, it basically saved the whole city from from being poisoned. So anyway, meanwhile, you know, Cole and the others were having a hard time taking and with the was having a hard time with the Megazord to, time to time to take down the the giant sized tank jaw. So basically, so that's when Ben showed up with his own McNeedle, his his dynamite Zord McNeedle, and combined and, and Ben combined his sword together. With with, with with the Megazord and formed the Mick Needle uh, Megazord and and together and together working as a team, you know, you know, you know Cole and others with that Megazord managed to managed to take down Tank Job. But turns out that turns out that Tank Job was not destroyed by the Megazord's final attack. Turns out that Tank Job was still alive and Creon was like, you know, 
museum. Cleo was kind of glad that, you know, that King Charles was still alive, even after, after the Megatron did that finishing attack on, on King Charles. But King Charles swear that, you know, I'm going to take down those damn wings so it's, it's, it's the, it, that's the last thing I do. So anyway, anyway, that, so basically when, when Colin, when Colin, the rest of the weird services came back to the, came back to the lab, you know, you know, Tao was still poisoned and, and Tao Fen was still being drained, was still being drained uh, of her energy after, t after Ben took down her, uh, took down the monster monster that that is joining her that is joining her energy and that and the, the, that was created from Shady. So basically like, you know, when the when the weird came back to the lab, you know, that was still poisoned, Shady was still being drained of her energy at the very took down her monster monster. At the bed, took down his, uh, took down Sadie's mind soul monster. So basically, that must mean that the mind soul monster must be still, must be still, or must be still, must have, must have survived Ben's attack. Through, so somehow, so basically, the mind soul monster is still, is must be still right after Bam thought he destroyed it. And the episode ended with with Tao, with Tao passed out to pass out once again from the poison and. Sadie and Sadie and Sadie being and still being un, and still and still being unconscious. So basically, that's how the episode ended. But they are passing out from the monster poison and and Sadie being and Sadie still unconscious and still being drained, but still being drained at the monster energy from and, and being drained from and being drained of her energy by the monster monster. So anyway, that's how the episode ended. So. Basically, this episode was not bad. So basically, this episode kind of ended on a downer, but it was kind of a good downer. So basically, you know, I can't wait to see the next episode because that's when they're going to find all the zones together. Even though I think it's kind of early for them to find the zones over, combine all the zones together in the next episode. But, you know, you know, but this episode did end on a on a down note, but it was kind of a good, it was kind of a good way to end this episode, this episode, but otherwise, you know, this episode was not bad, so anyway, like always, what do you guys think about this episode, was it good, was it gay, was it great, or was it okay, please let me know the comments and love this podcast, so anyway, like always, this is Michael from Screen Review, sign off, one.